Well, hello from the home base in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Ray from InnovationalHealth.com and the Healthy Travelers. Want to share with you our new for us 2012 rail by Winnebago. It's a Mercedes-Benz diesel and uh, so far we just love it. Um, it's two and a half feet larger than our previous model which you just saw. And uh, the thing is, is that it has a bedroom where the other one didn't. Although we do give up um, a, uh, a very nice bathroom. This one doesn't have quite the bathroom of the other ones as you're going to see. But this is what it looks like and I just want to give you a little tour. As you can see, Mercedes-Benz, it is a diesel engine. As opposed to the other, our previous one, which got 10 miles per gallon, this one gets 15, including the diesel generator use. And we use that quite a bit, by the way. Okay, I'm going to give you the full on shot. I've got all the doors open so I can discuss each and every one. It does have the optional driver's door, which is very handy if you ever get one of these. Get it with the driver's door. It is a, like a $1,300 option. It's very, very worth it. New these things cost $165,000. We got ours with uh, 12,800 miles. It was um, five years old. And we got it for just 70000 Just about, uh, well, well under half price. Let's put it that way. Okay, so starting from the driver's front, we do have, as you can see right here underneath the um, uh, mirror, we've got um, the side... Uh, cameras so we can see when we're turning and when we're changing lanes the side uh, cameras we also of course have a rear camera that I'll show you directly after that is our fill location for the diesel fuel underneath and by the way there's a small slide I'm gonna say that's probably four to five feet uh, it basically houses the um, love seat underneath we have what we use this for is uh, we know we don't use it for obviously for a sewer hose we use it for um, our electronic things our um, it, um, you know like the thing that uh, that would help you stop the bad voltage coming in that it almost works like a surge suppressor, but it's a modulation EMS modulation system. And uh, additionally, over on the side, we've got um, a compressor in case we run into problems with our tires. In the next bay, we've got a uh, our drainage system for our. Uh, black and gray tanks. The gray tank actually has is actually located in the rear and it actually has um, a macerator. Okay, and then also the LP is right there. And on all Winnebago's, this is a Winnebago made uh, product, you will notice that it does have sensors on the outside so they can't get gummed up. Uh, panning back a little bit, we've got a hot water heater, which is a six gallon, which we intend to convert to a on-demand. The furnace is under that, and below that is a fake panel. It is uh, there ma ma mainly for maintenance. The, um, uh, the, the next two items, which are both closed because there's really not much to see, one is just a pass-through storage, which you'll see on the other side, which is open. And then below that is the connections for the water and the electricity. I'm going to pan out. you got a real nice, big, uh, actually I think aesthetically beautiful 
except for, I don't know if you can see, there's a mark at the top. Um, that mark is a good example of why you should use uh, someone to back you up, even when you have a backup camera. We just missed seeing that limb, and so now we've got a couple hundred dollars in damage to deal with. Okay, moving right, and of course we've got the 5,000 pound hitch, which this is capable of towing, 5,000 pounds. Um, moving around to the side. By the way, these, um, you'll see when we get in there, these particular uh, windows above the open door are for the bedroom. Okay, then below that we've got the pass-through storage which is in fact totally through, and the spare tire. Um, I should point out, if there is a drawback on this, it is that it can only carry um, after the occupant weight is calculated in and the water and all the fluids, about 600 pounds. So you have to be really careful. It's got a lot of storage area. Unfortunately, you can't use it all. In the back is a, um, uh, an area that we use because it's all made of rotocast plastic and we use it for our uh, septic stuff. That's the feet that uh, you put under the hose, the hose itself and all of our gloves Next to that is the uh, Onan um, generator. It is a diesel generator. And so uh, it runs off of your main tank. Next to that is kind of, we hardly use this. It's a big, but because of the weight limitations, we just use it for rugs and and uh, the cat, the cat outdoor soft cage, uh, a knapsack, and our um, clothes, dry, uh, clothes washing stuff. Um, and then. Uh, Finally, on the other side of the door, and of course you got steps leading up to the door, you have the what we would call the water compartment. So there's a ton of compartments here. And uh, if I walk up the grade here, you can see on the top that there are a number of items. Uh, the one, uh, the big one obviously is the air conditioning unit, but there's a number of different antennas. Those antennas are for satellite radio. The big mast is for TV. Um, uh, there's just regular radio uh, reception. So there's a lot of uh, things that you can do here. This is satellite ready. This is cable ready. Um, so, yeah, we're pretty happy with it. So let's go on inside. Well, one of the obvious differences as we go into the RV from the old one is the two steps. We didn't have two steps. The pleasure way was low enough. And then as you start to come in, um, you'll notice it is there is some similarities between the layout of this rail, Itasca rail, and also the pleasure way. For instance, this step houses the two batteries. Although I will say that the battery box in the pleasure way was much more substantial than this. This is essentially just a cutout that you can see all the way to the ground, and it just has two like little. Uh, metal uh, clamps to hold in your batteries. To me that's not really a very uh, quality way of doing things. But anyway you do sacrifice some quality going from uh, the pleasure way. Okay now there is a beautiful idea. The door uh, this has a window in it um, 
and if I can get this to operate, um, <coughs> this has a shade, obviously, uh, and you can see out should somebody come. It's not frosted, also has a screen in it, uh, and further, which is, I think, really good, is this. This was new for 2012, which is, this is the first year, but this is an actual screen that goes across your door, and um, yeah, it really functions well. So those are, the, those are uh, some of the ideas I really do like, is uh, the door with the window and this, another screen, and then this idea of a, a door screen is great. Another thing is, is this particular um, key fob is just like a car key fob. And in fact, will lock and unlock this door remotely, which is very unusual because most uh, RVs, this particular door is only a manual lock. But this also has, is alarmed just like the front door. Now if I go into the cabin, the cabin is pretty much you know similar to any sprinter. We do have the wood grain tones. Has really nice uh, leatherette seating. Um, what I do like also about this is that it has a couple of interesting features up here. Has plenty of um, of your your uh, vo uh, twelve volt um, places where you can actually plug into. But more importantly that than that is I don't know if you can see this. It has something which is called radio power which if you want, you can uh, take this radio and play it in the back of the, um, of the RV. Now that's not really necessary if you don't want it to be because of the fact that there is another radio which I will show you on the inside. But if you were listening to a program and wanted to leave it on without retuning it, not missing anything, that would be a good option. And even better option is right here it's called the battery booster. Let's say that your battery in this that's um, under the floor over here went bad. And that's the chassis battery. By pressing that button over there, you could literally use the two house batteries to start this uh, vehicle and then drive to a battery shop. So you can get another automotive battery for the for the chassis part of this. Um, I should tell you, I think I mentioned it before, this gets about uh, 15 miles per gallon on average, including generator usage. I suspect it's close to, closer to 16 miles per gallon on average, city and highway, if we didn't use the, the generator. Okay, um, it does, one of the nice things, it does provide a really nice panoramic uh, view. Uh, going above that, you've got some really cool ma ma um, map lights on both sides. You've got uh, very nice size um, drawers. The, even, uh, the storage even goes over here. These cabinets are beautiful wood with nickel uh, trim and it goes throughout. Uh, we have uh, curtains here of course which can go all the way around and make this into a pretty nice um, living area. The seat, both seats spin around. Uh, there is a slide here which I had mentioned. Let's see if I can back up and I'll probably have to do kind of a bottom to top here but that slide I'm gonna guess as I said on the outside is four to five feet um, has a window behind it with an MCD shade um, this particular um, sofa has storage underneath and currently is housing the table which would go in here 
or if the slide is out there's another um, place for the table to go over there um, and so again you've got uh, two more cabinets above you've got a stereo system which as I said can plug into the um, coach uh, system or in into its own system which is right here when you walk in the door here is your uh, AM FM stereo also has uh, DVD capabilities um, and then all of your light switches you've got a door here which could be used um, if you want to just put in like shoes and keep the coach uh, really clean and spotless um, there is just keeping in this area the living area there is a TV one of two TVs it's a Jensen but what's really interesting is if the slide is out there's no reason to do this but I can literally pull this out and now without the slide being out which is kind of like what the pleasure way pleasure way had no slides um, this is the how you can view the TV it doesn't have to come out that far probably want to be like something like that um, you don't want to whack your head as you go by it but anyway so that is uh, I think a really good option the main difference between this and the pleasure way is that we did have a sofa in this position but the sofa was much longer and was actually an electronic sofa bed uh, we did have a galley on this side as well um, this particular galley has this uh, I'm not sure that I like this it has this hump that goes out it is uh, the reason for it is so you can have uh, storage underneath and it's very large storage area underneath but I'm not sure the the 2015s, 2016s, 2017s, 2018s all have cut this away and have moved this back. Um, you have this type of a setup here, and that's your that's how your sink would work. Um, actually, it's very easy, very proficient uh, way of doing it. It does give you uh, this little preparation area um, of course and then we got a real nice backsplash there and then on top of that we've got the old two burner uh, stove which is typical this is I think the same one that we had in the pleasure way above it is a cabinet inside although we've got stuff in there inside is all of your um, in the back is all of your electronic uh, capabilities like your satellite is back there your TV it does have a TV mask uh, which is by uh, this jack um, and, and how you tune in your TV is simply by by turning and uh, by using these um, lights and once you get four lights or three lights it'll tell you that you're at maximum capability easy to use easy to use we do have a vent that actually is vented to the outside also there's a light if we need it uh, there is this is a microwave convection oven again almost this uh, is exactly the same one that we had in the pleasure way uh, one thing I really like, although if you know me, I don't really use it that much. And I'll see if I can get you as full a shot as this um, refrigerator. It is a three-way Dometic refrigerator. By three-way, it is always on. And if you're going down the road, you don't need to go down the road on... Um, propane which is very dangerous it will run actually run off the chassis batteries it has uh, a I think it's six cubic feet obviously you can see it has a refrigerator portion as well as um, this is the freezer it just it really sucks uh, in <laughs> to the uh, this is really a tight seal
So up above more storage. This is really nice. It's a, uh, a control panel has all of your your slide control, your generator, your uh, it has a 1000 uh, pure sine wave inverter. It has also what's called the Intellisaurus, which is a Winnebago one-touch control panel for your water heater, the water pump, and your tanks to see where your tank levels are. These are all digital. Your gas and your battery voltage for your house batteries are all on this one, one thing, and it, it's just it's pretty simple. For instance, how to go through that. I just turn the pump on. I can turn it off. There's, it's 12.2 volts, so this probably needs to be charged up. The gas is 50%, half of water, and empty, empty on the, uh, on the tanks. So that's pretty much this area. There is a, a full closet here, which is a hanging closet. Huge, actually. By the way, I didn't bring this up, but I do love the, the uh, full tile floors. Of course, it's linoleum. Now let's go into the bathroom. Uh, this is different. We had a rear bathroom in the um, Pleasure Way. Does have a fantastic fan. That is, all of the lighting is LED. And this is the um, uh, shower, of course. We have a, a new for when we got this, we decided to put our wash now, our dirty wash, in this particular um, container. And that's thanks to Tim Rover. That's his idea, although I realize a lot of people did it. He directed us to where we could actually buy one of these, and we did get it. It was like 15 bucks. And then um, on almost every Winnebago, you'll see they have this screen, which... To me, is kind of flimsy. It's kind of like cellophane. However, it does do one thing, which is one thing it's supposed to do, and that is do like a squeegee when it goes in, and that prevents mold. Um, we do have a handle with a button. It's not an oxygenic, but it's the same idea. It uh, that button will turn off the water. Um, the skylight, of course, is, gives you a little bit more headroom, but not much. This uh, comes out. I am five feet uh, nine and a half inches, and I fit very comfortably in there. I would suspect six feet and under in here would be no issue. After six feet, well, I think it would be a, you're going to be a little bit of a cramp. Um, we have a, in here currently is a plastic toilet with a sprayer. We want to change that out to porcelain. Uh, we do have again the um, storage under the sink. Again, nickel. This is all. This is not um, plastic. It's all. And then we've got a towel rack and then more cabinets up on top. We're getting ready to go. We haven't really loaded the, that up yet. Okay, let's go to the back. Now, this is really the difference. We had a really beautiful bathroom, which is now located here on the, the, on the driver's side. But this is what the difference is. This little space, little rectangle back here, is the difference between our pleasure way and our rail and the which we currently have and I really like it um, it has uh, steps so that it's easy for you to get in obviously it can be made I can pull this out and this would go out all the way this can be made into a full king-size bed um, if you do that, it presents a couple of issues which are easily gotten around, but you have some storage here that 
becomes inaccessible, but it's easy enough to flip the cushions and move that, uh, that uh, um, board in, as you saw. Um, the other issue is, is then you need a way to get into the, um, to make that, that leap. Now, for a kid, that's not going to be too much of a problem, but when you get to be my age, 65, it's a little bit more of a jump. That's probably, I don't know, from the top to the, to the um, sleeping bags, which is what we use, that's probably three and a half, four feet, a little bit much for me to be jumping. There is a ladder that's provided and it goes right on these hooks right here, but that is real cumbersome because it comes back and blocks this door here. So what we have come up with, should we ever want to do this, is an ottoman, a really little square ottoman that would also serve as a little storage cube where we, could, we and the cat could uh, just step up on it. But right now, um, this is the, the best we have found. It gives us both our own separate sleeping area also plenty of cabinets. Remember the problem with the rail and any of the uh, the Winnebago Via and also the sister um, Class C's, uh, the Navion and the View is that they have uh, only a small CCC which is cargo carrying capacity. And I'm going to say that's between six and seven hundred pounds, which isn't really good. The the cat loves this because uh, my wife and I can both sleep in our sleeping bags, and then um, he can he can choose on a warm night when he wants to be cool. He can sleep on that shelf, or if he if it's cold, he can sleep up on this pillow here which uh, is matches everything else. It's one of the original pillows that came with us. Uh, normally, of course, we have our own pillows, and uh, this is how we sleep. Um, there is a, a small TV back here, which uh, interfaces with the antenna. And uh, again, you've got uh, pretty much everything you need in this part, which is the main difference. And this is what we wanted. This is the difference between 22 feet 9 inches and 25 feet 5 inches. Um, 2 feet 9 inches longer, but you gain all this extra space. Okay, and I will also point out that there is one other thing here which I really like, and that's this, this switch here, which I'm not going to turn on because it's like 106 in here. But that is the... Um, this is the holding tank heater and so if if it does get cold and believe it or not in Vegas it does get down around freezing I can come in here and plug in and just turn this on and, and make sure nothing nothing happens so I'm going to turn these off that's uh, that's a that's a quick tour and um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you uh, see why we changed and now uh, our Winnebago Itasca rail owners and uh, had to give up the Pleasure Way. I wish the uh, Pleasure Way did make a little bit uh, larger one like this, but they don't. So, hey, it's Ray signing off from our RV, the Winnebago Itasca rail in our home base in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, have a great day. Thanks, everybody.